Now, today, as we told you yesterday, is known as Ipchun, or the day marking the beginning of spring here in Korea. And it really truly lived to its name as um, temperatures were mild, very mild here in Seoul. Let's go over to our Lee Ji Hyun at the Weather Center for more updates. Ji Hyun. Hello, Kanyang. Yes, temperatures did go up today, but stagnant air in the upper parts of the Indian regions increased levels of dust, while the Jeollado provinces and Jeju Island were affected by fine dust from China. But the capital had normal air quality throughout the day today. Right, but how are things looking for tomorrow? Because tomorrow is essentially, I, could, I think we could say that the beginning of this sure. super long right. Lunar New Year holiday. Right, so I do have weather and traffic coming up shortly. But uh, for the dust-wise, we're going to have a normal air quality throughout the day tomorrow uh, for the whole nation with strong winds sweeping away the dust. But temperature-wise, it's going to be slightly cooler than yesterday, especially in the morning as the daily low here in Seoul will start out at minus 6 degrees Celsius. Daejeon will also kick off at minus 6 and minus 3, 4. Daegu and Busan and Jeju will start out the day at 0 and 3 degrees Celsius. And as for the daily highs, it's going to be slightly cooler than today, but due to the strong winds, it could feel chillier than the actual temperatures. With a high peaking to 3 here in Seoul, 4 for Daejeon, 5 over in Daegu and Busan and Jeju Island will see a high of 7 degrees Celsius tomorrow afternoon. And cold mornings will continue through the weekend before milder conditions dominate through the Lunar New Year holiday and notice how warm it's going to be on next Wednesday. But again, tomorrow we're going to wake up to a chilly morning, so be sure to dress warmly. And we do have rain in the forecast next Monday. And traffic-wise, heavy traffic is expected over the next few days as about 36 million people will hit the roads during the holiday. And these are the estimated travel times. This Sunday should be the most congested with cars heading out of the capital and the actual day of the Lunar New Year falling on Monday will be jam-packed with vehicles coming back to the capital areas. And remember that the operating hours of buses and subways in Seoul will be extended on Monday and the next days as subways and buses will run until 2 a.m. Now that's Korea for you and here's a look at the weather conditions around the world.